All right, guys, so this is just going to be another short video showing you guys how to load any games that you want additionally onto your PlayStation Classic through their transfer tool. If you guys haven't seen the video on how to install BleemSync 1.1, please stop this video here, go back to the channel, or go into the description where I'll link to it. Um, I'll link to it down below in the description. Make sure you watch that video first because this is going to be completely pointless for anybody who's not currently running BleemSync 1.1. So if you haven't done that, go and do that first and then come back. So if you're still here, I'm going to assume you have installed BleemSync 1.1. You've already loaded everything onto your PlayStation Classic. You've already run it initially. You've put the USB drive and turned it on to be able to see the boot menu and the BleemSync option to log in. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are gonna pop our USB drive into our computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that right now. So I've got that right over here. So here it is. Uh, what we need to do is there's going to be a folder called transfer. And if you open it up, it's just empty. This is going to transfer any games onto our USB drive, or I guess we're gonna transfer them onto this USB drive through the transfer folder, but then it's gonna transfer them into our BleemSync build. So what we need to do is we need to find a game and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab any random game that I've got. I'm just gonna open up this in my ROMs, PS1, and we'll go to PBP. Now I do want to mention that they are supporting PBP, they're supporting BinQ, they're supporting ISO, they're supporting image files, they're supporting everything now. So previously we were bound by PBP and BinQ, now we have many more different formats, so you guys have a little bit more flexibility here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to find one game that I uh, don't think is already on my build. And let's go ahead with Yu-Gi-Oh. I definitely don't have that on my build. We're going to transfer this over. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this into my transfer folder. I'm going to let that transfer over. It should only take a few seconds or so. Okay, so now that it's done, we can't just pop this into our uh, PlayStation Classic yet. Uh, we, well, technically we can and it'll transfer the game over. Uh, the problem with that is that it's not going to have any of the artwork. So if you guys are familiar with AutoBleam, when you install AutoBleam, the database for all the artwork is already pre-installed. So when you drag and drop, all you got to do is pop it in, it'll scan and match and create Q files if it needs to. Uh, with the BleemSync build, they don't, don't preload uh, their builds with all of the artwork. So what we need to do is we need to add that artwork. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download the artwork database, which I'm going to go ahead and link to in the description down below. It's just a Google Drive and there's going to be a few different options in here. You've got an AB new database files dot zip, uh, default thumbnails J, uh, JPEG dot zip. You've also got a PNG dot zip and then you've got a regional cases thumbnail dot uh, zip file. So you have a couple of options here. You need to either choose the default thumbnails PNG 9522.zip or the regional case thumbnail 9522.zip. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download the png.zip file. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go ahead and download it. Now it's a large file, 320 megabytes. We're going to download that anyways. We're going to save that right to our desktop. And that's just going to take a few minutes to download. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our web browser. Uh, we're gonna have to go back to the root of our USB drive. We're gonna double click on BleemSync. We're gonna go into OPT. Then we've got a PlayStation Classic PSC underscore transfer underscore tools. We're gonna double click here. And you can see there's gonna be a covers folder. So we're gonna double click on here. We've got a default. And what we need to do is we need to extract all of the things that we just downloaded from our uh, sorry, give me one second here. If I minimize everything, there's our file. We're going to need to extract everything from here into this folder. So we're going to right click. We're going to extract the files. It's going to say, where do you want to extract them? We're going to look for our Sony build. Then we're going to go into our BleemSync, OPT, PS Classic Tools, and covers and we're going to hit okay 
and it's gonna go ahead and extract all of them in there. So this is also gonna take a little bit of time. What we're going to do is we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward because I'm anticipating this is gonna be about five or six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that happen and uh, I will get back to you guys in a quick sec. All right, so now that we've got uh, all those files transferred into here and extracted into this covers folder, we're gonna double click on the covers folder and you're gonna see that there is a ton, a ton of artwork in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one of these games, uh, SLUS00804, Mr. Domino. So you can see there's the artwork. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and copy all of them. We're gonna cut them out of this folder and we're gonna paste them directly into the root of this folder. Okay, so now that's gonna transfer over and you can see it's gonna take about a couple of minutes. So again, I'm just gonna fast forward through this so you guys don't have to watch it. All right guys, so now that that's finished, I do wanna mention that uh, you're transferring a lot of files. In this case, it's over 9,500 files. And although they're small files, it does take time to transfer them one by one. So if it does uh, if it does feel like it's not working or if you've copy and pasted it and nothing's happening on screen, just be patient and wait. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes for the processes in your computer to properly make that happen. So, but now we've got all of our artwork located right in this folder along with that default image. We're gonna go ahead and delete this covers folder because it's no longer needed and there's nothing inside of it anyways. So that's pretty much it. Now that we've got our database of all of our artwork in there, we've transferred it in that one Yu-Gi-Oh game, which I'm probably gonna end up removing at some point because it's not really a game I'm interested in. But all that we need to do is unplug our USB drive, pop it into our PlayStation Classic, and we're gonna boot it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and I will catch you guys in just a second. We've got our health and safety warnings in the settings menu screen pop up. And you can see right there, there it is, Yu-Gi-Oh for uh, Forbidden Memories. So that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is load any games that you want directly into that transfer folder. Make sure you've got all the artwork in the database uh, in the covers folder and uh, drag and drop all your files in there. And again, you've got full support for uh, BinQ and PBP, which we're very familiar with at this point. Uh, we've had support for these for quite some time. But now if you've got image files, or if you've got ISOs, those are all now supported as well. So you pretty much any file that you've got, if you wanna rip your own image off of a disc, if you've got an original PlayStation game and you want to go ahead and rip that onto your computer and you end up with an image file, that'll be functional and it will work. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you're gonna transfer some games onto your PlayStation Classic. So if you decide that what you wanna do is delete a game, uh, as you can see, we added this game in here. It's not a game that I ever plan on playing. Uh, so if I wanna delete that game, it's really simple now. All I have to do is go into my games folder, find the folder that has the game in it and just delete the entire folder. So right onto the USB, you pop the USB into your computer, open up uh, the directory, uh, go into your games folder, find the game and just delete the folder. And that's it. Uh, that's all you have to do. It's really nice and simple. Uh, the developers have made note that going forward, they're going to start getting away from the bleemsyncui.com website. Uh, the idea is that I think they're gonna try to transition away from that. They may put something in its place, but uh, what they're gonna do for this build specifically is they're gonna have it so that way you guys can add and remove games right from the USB drive, either drag and drop into the transfer folder or delete the game file altogether, uh, the folder in which the games are sitting in. So that is uh, really nice, it's nice and easy. It's definitely good to see that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys uh, on this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate all the support. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below if you guys are having any trouble or you guys are having any confusion. Just let me know down below and I'll be sure to do everything I can to help. Thank you guys so much again. I'll talk to you guys again real soon.